So for this year, along the parade route in Hagatnya, families and organizations decorate their canopies to represent the theme Hatsa and to participate in the Sorensen Media Group's Canopies on Parade. They just get creative uh, according to the theme, which is Hatsa. As a judge, we are looking for the overall appearance, uh, the creativity, and basically uh, our theme is Hatsa. So the family or the canopy that went all out. We interviewed a couple of the Canopies on Parade participants. First, the Tyrant Family Canopy, where they brought the Hatsa logo to life. Basically, what we did was we took the logo of this year's theme and we made it, we actually brought it to life um, using different stuff that we have around our house. And if you look here, we put a flower down in the most southern part of the island because that's where we're from, which is Mariso. Um, we use majority bamboo, but we use this fabric here to pull the globe together. And then my uncle made a lottie stone out of coconut, a coconut stock. So that's what we did. Kayleen says watching the Liberation Day Parade is a family tradition. Spending time with the family, hanging out, enjoying the heat. Next, we visited the canopy of Familian Tetautau, Castro and Cruz, where they had a storyboard of their family, a showcase of traditional Chamorro wear, and even a small farm. We were brought up fishing, okay, and uh, uh, catching manyaha, katulai, and any reef fish. We are, we are uh, uh, fishermen. Growing up in the ranch, we had lots of goats. and. Um, Deer hunting, like what my uncle Ed said, the fishing with my uncles, John Tataldo, Eddie Tataldo, the farming Frank, my grandfather Jose. We're all do it um, as a as a family, and I. This is part of culture, and I'm very happy to bring this out to share that. Very proud, um, a lot of hard work, and we put a lot into it, and we just want to showcase this to the community that we can survive off the land and the sea. Amy Castro says she's happy that the culture has passed on through generations that started with her grandparents. It's it's the perpetuation. It's our fourth generation happy to get in there and fish, uh, farm, and help the grandparents. So we're pretty it's pretty much alive, and I'm very happy. And we're, this is our storyboard, family and Tao Tao, my mom's siblings, and um, just what we do as a family and the continual perpetuation. So, and it ties, uh, ties into the, um, the theme this year of revitalization of our people and land. Canopies on Parade judges Vanessa and Hannah tell us what elements they saw on canopies that they loved most. Where they actually do our iconic symbols, you know, like the Laddie Stone and of course the Guam Seal. It's just great to see. Man, I saw amazing. Uh, the, it was uh, a lot of family that not only dressed up their canopies, but also dressed up. So that was that was one of um, I say the best parts of it is because anybody could dress up a canopy, but to actually get your family involved and actually dress up, that that was one of the best things that I saw. I just want to say happy liberation to everybody. Thank you for participating in the Canopies of Parade, and we look forward to seeing you guys next year. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.